You guys know what it is. Welcome back to He Said Us, live from my penthouse suite in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Penthouse suite. Penthouse suite. Today we've been blessed uh, from a clip on the internet that I think you guys may be interested in. It is one that blew my mind when I saw it. My mouth was agape when I saw it. And it's a video I found on Twitter from a stream by a friend of the show, uh, Sneeko. He was streaming at some baseball game. He was at a baseball game, I guess. Does he just do like IRL content on kick now? Does he stream himself watching baseball games? And the Twitter video I'm gonna look at today says, Sneeko finally realizes he got himself in a bubble with his red pill content. And it's from an IRL Sneeko stream on kick, where I presume he's at a baseball game. I don't know why he's streaming at the baseball game. You know, as you would expect, a bunch of little kids came up to him because that's kind of his fan base. I think he knows that very well, at least now he does. I guess, I guess we'll just watch what happens because it was crazy enough for me to come show you today. What'd you take? Fuck the woman, fuck the woman. What? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. So the first thing that happens is there's a couple kids taking photos with him <laughs> and you know already besides the fact that like these kids are going to be immortalized on video which you could say anything to a video camera 10 years ago most likely you're not going to find it anywhere you know the internet's forever but you can still scrub a, a lot of stuff back then nowadays you get stuck on a sneaker stream this tweet isn't really going anywhere but this kid comes up to him and listen it's not it's not really the kid's fault yeah is the kid dumb of course the kid's dumb he watches sneeko he should be watching um uh bluey or something on the on the tv bluey on disney plus is that what it's called anyways you have a kid come up to him take a photo he just keeps saying andrew tate which i guess is like I, I don't know, maybe the, that's like a calling card or something because usually you like reference things when you are when you meet the creator that you watch. Usually you reference things when you meet, you know, the creator that you're a fan of or whatever. But in this case, it's he's just <laughs> repeating a more famous guy's name. It's like if you met uh, Robin, the superhero, Robin on the side of the street and you just kept saying Batman while you're taking a photo with him. That's a good analogy, actually. Yeah, I like that analogy. So sneeko has got his ice on him. He's got his New York Yankees cap. He's got his bucket of popcorn. <laughs> it is a good day for Sneeko at the baseball game. And I can't think of a cooler way to be filming yourself at a, at a baseball game publicly than to be taking a bunch of selfies with kids who recognize you. Um, and then they just say the name of the guy who, like, you idolize. What? <laughs> so the kid starts going, fuck the women, fuck the women. Sneeko is caught a little bit off guard, as most people would. I mean, but maybe he shouldn't be, because this is his audience, and the kid is saying this to him, expecting Sneeko to find it funny, which he does. But, I mean, in a little bit of a different way. You know, he doesn't want to say that to the actual kid's face. It's easier to say when you're on a stream... None of these kids have any faces. They're just typing in the chat and being, like, excited to hear you, you know, talk your shit about, you know, which which women, you know, looks like an idiot today. Am I right, guys? Which one of them is dumb today of the day? So he looks at the camera guy. He's like, what? Uh? And then the kid, let's see what he says. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Sneakers, sneakers. We love women. We love women. We love women. We love women. But not, not like transgender. Yes, sir. We love everybody. No, no. So this is the part of the video where it's so like bad that it's it's good because it's like so it almost works so well. For a second, I had to ask myself. I was like, did I hire like a child actor to say these things to Sneeko? Because this is like a perfect way to to haunt him <laughs> with his own legacy. To have a child <laughs> directly come up to you and say, fuck the women, and then when you say, no, we love women, he says, oh, yeah, no, we love the women, just not the, not the transgenders. And of course, you know, this is an easier thing to double down on when you're streaming to your audience, when there's no faces behind the camera, and people are just typing in chat and hyping you up, 
But when you realize that those people hyping you up are all sixth graders, it's not as easy to get hyped up with them about it. You can smash a couple brewskis with your buddies and say that women are dumb and we don't like transgenders. But then when the kid is going, yeah, remember, like we, we like women, but not those ones. Then suddenly it's not really, it's not as cool, is it? Okay, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, Mark, preach. And this is the face. This is the face that will be immortalized as Sneeko realizing, coming to the conclusion that, you know, he is a bad part of history here. He is on the wrong side. He is raising these young men um, to become incel freaks who don't go out to the baseball game. They stay on their computers and they harass people online. No baseball games. This is the face of someone who I think just realized that his career has kind of become a joke. And I think people will be using this image for a, a long time to memorialize this moment in history. I don't really know what else to say to this clip. It almost is too perfect where it feels like someone paid to have him set up. And the only reason I know someone didn't have him paid to set this up is because it's too real. No one could ever orchestrate a moment as perfect as this on video. And he's, of course, live streaming while he's doing so. So there's no chance to cut any of this out. He just has to look at the camera in a funny way and say, hey, uh, isn't this bad? What have I done? What have I done, he says. And I can't think of a better way to summarize what's going on here. Because this is, this is like a different level of, I don't know, everything leads up to this moment for this man to hopefully look at his actions and say, hey, maybe what I do isn't that awesome. And maybe I uh, am a, I'm a smudge on the internet and I should probably relax a little bit. Can I get in the video? Fuck it, talk! Can I get in the video? Yeah, yeah. Talk okay. to him, talk to him. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Imagine asking your favorite creator if you can be in the video. And then he's like, yeah, no, 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 go say something to the video, say something to the video. And then you don't have anything to say to the video. You blank. Is there anything worse than that? You get your moment in the spotlight. That's like what every kid wants. They're all like, oh, get me in the video, get me in the video. You let them have, have, the, have the floor. Tell them what you want to say. Say what you need to say. He has nothing. When you watch this guy, you end up with a bowl cut, standing in front of the camera. Thoughts empty, nothing to say. And even on Twitter, or X, if we're still pretending to call it that, I check this app like once a week when someone sends me a link. I look at my For You page and realize that the site is still awful. But even in this case, where the blue check people are prioritized, you still have people saying that he's fallen off and this is not a good look. Except for people like this guy who say, Eh, tween's just trying to be edgy. Nothing new. Um, and I don't remember tweens around me saying things like that when I was younger. Not really my crowd. But you do have a Twitter user saying, I don't think it's just Sneeko. I like some of his content, but it's important to hear from all sides. These kids passionately follow what makes them feel empowered. And if this is it, then they need to know of the outcomes. Everyone is and are pros and cons. <laughs> and I think that makes me double down on my statement on blue check users on this website still continues to rot my brain and i'm going to be ending today's video with a reel that i saw yesterday that i thought you guys might like it says pov you just left home goods after having enough of their halloween decor and are trying your hardest to drive safely while you're mourning all of the souls who are choosing death this fall season and will reject christ they'd rather let demons sit at their table than Jesus. And it's a video of her recording herself, like, I guess just losing her mind while she's driving. Um, and yeah, it says that she's wrestling with a lot of thoughts. And this is something I kind of forgot about. I forgot about Christians who think that, um, Halloween is 
like demonic. You know, you've got people like uh, this lady in the comments saying, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. And I let my children carve pumpkins and celebrate Halloween every year. I decorate for fall instead of Halloween because I prefer that more. And my children watch Hocus Pocus and I don't feel like I'm a bad Christian. Also, tattoos are against the Bible standards, FYI, because this lady has tattoos on her arm. I grew up in a household where we revered Halloween. Surprisingly, you know, I was I was pretty religious, but I never saw Halloween as a demonic um, holiday. She said, I would reconsider your stance on Halloween and ask the Lord for conviction on it so that you can repent. Okay, well, that's easy enough. And I love this comment from Kirsty that says, I would genuinely rather sit at a table with a demon than Christ. We'd have more to talk about. That is a, that's kind of hard, actually. I think that's awesome. And then finally, someone said, you took the time to film this while driving. And she said, I had hit record before I even left the parking lot. And the original video is much longer than this snippet. People have dash cams, side cams, license plate cams. It's not that unheard of. I've been trying to record about every aspect of my life. They say everything's content. I could reach for a cup while recording and use that instead, but that doesn't really portray the message, you know? I, I don't know. I think that doesn't really... She was still recording her entire drive. Does it, is it different because the clip's shorter? I think she interpreted the message as, like, it's unsafe, but I think the original message was, like, you really set up your phone to just film you crying because you're thinking about how bad Halloween is? Look at that face. They'd rather let demons sit at their table than Jesus. Listen, they're not real demons. They're funny ones, okay? They're silly demons. A real demon's probably, like, probably can't even... You, you just... It, you, it's scary. You'd probably you'd be scared. Halloween demons, they're fun and nice, I assume. Anyways, guys, um, there's a lot of celebrity news going on right now. I wanted to talk about the Russell Brand apology today. I may be talking about it tomorrow on either the second channel or on this channel. Uh, this channel, I usually have been saving for more of the celebrity news. In the second channel, I've been doing more TikTok drama type stuff. But there's really no rhyme or reason to either of them. And my past few videos have just been hitting the dumper because my Romper Stomper video a couple weeks ago got age restricted. Never since then, I've been in the trenches, guys. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say. Check out my new music video and song. It'll be at the end of this video. And watch the video we made yesterday about the uh, the love surge. It was a funny video. I liked that it, I thought it was funny. I thought it was cool. I'm officially on the road, so I'll be recording more of these in different places. Let's see how many different places I record them in, I guess. That's a fun game. Okay, I, th I think that's it. Let me know what you want me to talk about soon whenever you have the chance. Okay, that's it.